Hi, Plant Buddies. So today we will be talking about how to make drainage holes into these and um, beautiful ceramic pots that I bought that did not come with drainage holes. As you can see, the holes are already there now. And in the video, my husband will be helping me to show you guys how to drill um, drainage holes into your uh, into your pots without a dry diamond drill bit because I called all the hardware stores in my area and none of them actually carry the diamond drill bits and I didn't want to have to wait for Amazon to deliver if I were to order because the mail has been taking a little bit longer than normal lately so we just use what drill bit we have and we will show you how to do it and actually I'll show you a little trick on how to speed up the process so let's get to the video hi plant buddies so today we are going to be drilling holes into a ceramic pot or just drilling a hole or two maybe just one into a ceramic pot over here we have um what is this we have sandpaper a marker just to mark the spot where exactly we're going to drill a hole and just a regular drill with a cement drill bit because I don't have diamond drill bits unfortunately but we will be showing you how to drill a hole into ceramic pots with a cement drill bit okay so here my husband has the sandpaper and he's going to sand down the bottom of the pot a little bit because it is glazed um, this makes it easier for the drill. If you get the glaze off, it makes it easier for the drill to get through. Um, we've already glazed most of it, most of it earlier, but he's just going to sand it down a little bit more until all that glaze is gone. And there it is. I think that's enough now. It'll probably take you a little bit longer, but we did glaze. We did sand it down earlier here my husband is just marking the bottom of the pot of exactly where we want to make the hole with a simple black marker this way you know exactly where to start and to place your drill bit and now he's going to start drilling the hole i might have to mute this part because it's really loud but here we go So you just want to press into the pot and put some pressure and hold the pot down until it makes a hole. This would probably take some time, but just regular, just put some even pressure on the pot as it drills a hole. So it does take a while, it doesn't take long, it takes a lot of patience and it's kind of tiring but the hole does get there, right there see it's already starting to protrude out, we're just right in the middle of it now, we are almost there. So my husband's going to start the drill again. <laughs> So look here, as you can see mid-video, um, we still got a, some ways to go there, but to speed it up a little bit, my husband's getting a screwdriver, and what I like to do is I actually like to kind of, kind of try to tap it to make, to make 
a hole a little bit faster and then continue it continue on again with the drill um, this does speed up the process a bit because that pot is really thick it'll make a hole until it cracks a little and then we can go in with it again with the drill it cuts it cuts the time into about half compared to if you were just to drill it the whole time there you go you see how fast that hole was made and then he can go in again with the drill just to make the edges smoother and make the hole a little bit bigger we have a perfectly drilled drainage hole it, it did crack a little bit here but that's okay you're not gonna see that part you're not gonna see that part of the pot but it did not crack at all and it's a really it turned out to be a really nice cut and a really good sized hole there um, make sure too that you notice here we have a rubber mat. It's just to keep the pot stable so it doesn't slip all over the place when you or your husband try to drill a hole and put pressure into it. So there you go guys. There we have a really nice drainage hole for our succulent pot that we will be using. And now he is going to drill another hole. I like that one. And then, of course, I'll show you again another way to make the hole a little bit, to, to make the whole drilling process a little bit faster. You don't necessarily need a diamond drill bit to do this. And then like I said, to make the process a little bit faster, you want to get a regular screwdriver like this and just do that. Makes a hole a little bit faster than drilling it the whole time. See that? Clean hole. Instead of spending 20 minutes drilling into it the whole time. And he is just going to place the drill in again to make the hole a little bit bigger. There you go, guys. We have three drainage holes in this one pot. We're probably going to make more holes later into this pot. But I actually think this is good enough. Because this one, this one was really thick. Thanks, Dad. <clears throat> for doing this for us. It makes it easier for me to film when my husband's doing the manly stuff. I mean, I can do this too, but at least this way, I'm right behind the camera the whole time and I know that everything is in center. There you go, guys. That's how you make drainage holes into pots that we buy that don't come with with drainage without a diamond drill bit because I know not all of us have it. I've called like three or four hardware stores in my area and none of them carry it, but they all had this drill bit here that we use. Um, this is a cement drill bit. So I didn't want to wait to order from Amazon. And we got perfect drainage holes for our succulents. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Christine from The Succulent Buddies. I hope that I was able to help you somehow with this video. And get to drilling holes into your pots so you can start planting your succulents. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. 
and I will see you on the next one. Thank you. Dad, say bye. Bye.